Hope you're doing good wherever you are. Today I have my overview and demonstration video of the HP Palm Pre 2. I want to thank the guys over at Clove Technology for sending this review unit out to me and you can catch them over at www.clove.co.uk There's a link to them in the description box as with all good links such as my Twitter. Uh, if you want to see the unboxing of the HP Palm HP Palm Pre 2 I'll put a link in the description box as well and also an annotation right here Bing! Okay, so as I said before this is not going to be um this is going to, sorry, this is going to be an overview and demonstration video of the device. So no opinions, no review, just showing the functions and taking on a tour of the Pre 2 and the review will follow, oops, sorry, and the, oh god, knocking everything, and the review will follow in due course. So I'm just going to give you a real quick rundown now of the most important specifications on this device. Uh, if you want the full lowdown, I'll put it in the description box as well. Uh, so the operating system is HP Web OS. The network specs are 2G, 3G and Wi-Fi enabled. It is also Bluetooth enabled. The display is a 3.1 inch multi-touch screen, uh, capacitive as well. It's a 320 by 480 HVGA resolution. It also features email, IM, SMS M and MMS support and a built-in GPS through Google Maps. It has a 5 megapixel camera with LED flash and records video. It also has an accelerometer. 16 gigabytes of memory with up to 512 megabytes of RAM with USB mass storage support. Battery life is up to 5 hours talk time and 355 hours standby. It weighs 145 grams or 5.1 ounces and dimensions are width 2.35 inches, height 3.96 inches and thickness 0.67 inches. So enough of that now, let's give you a tour of the outside of the device. Oops, sorry, not the uh, tripod there. Uh, I'll turn it off, uh, well not turn it off, I'll put it to sleep. Um, so I can give you a, a good look at the outside of the device. You've got your physical volume buttons here, you've got your microphone here and you've got the uh, speaker here. You've also got on the top a 3.5mm headphone jack, non-recessed, non-proprietary, so you can use any headphones you like. Here is your mute switch and then you've got the same button here, um, this is the power button, sorry, but it works the same as on the iPhone, so it's sleep, wake, and also power on, power off. Then you've got your micro USB charging port, and then you've got the back cover remover, and you've got Palm here, in case you forgot which device you bought, which company, sorry, you bought from, which company's device you bought. I was gonna get there in the end, wasn't I? Then you've got your five megapixel camera with your LED flash, and then another speaker, and then sort of one of the main uh, features of this, of this device other than the uh, gesture gesture pad which is not physical but sort of physical at the same time touch base but a physical um, interaction nonetheless but anyway there's the gesture pad and we'll get to that later on uh, and this will also unlock the device and I'll show you the other way uh, another way of unlocking the device is the physical QWERTY keyboard there which I will zoom in for you guys so you can see exactly what it looks like. Buttons are a little bit small, but so far, um, you know, it took a while to get used to, but, I, but, I, but I've been doing well with it and quite impressed actually. Uh, so as I said, that's another way of uh, unlocking the device. If you want to re unlock the device the other way, which I think is a really, really cool way, uh, and very Android-esque, um, you just take your drag it up wherever you want and that unlocks the device. So here is the home screen itself. Uh, I'm going to show you this little bar up here which is at the top where you've got your network provider, the time, your uh, Wi-Fi which I'm on or 3G or 2G depending on whatever you're on. Then you've got your battery meter and signal. Now if you click here it tells you right at the top. So I zoomed in quickly for you guys to see this little bar that dropped down. You've got the date, your battery, uh, what Wi-Fi you're enabled to, your VPN, uh, whether your Bluetooth's on or off and aeroplane mode so you can still listen to music um, and browse through your documents, etc., uh, even if you're on an airplane. Then here we are on this uh, home screen, uh, as I said before, you've got your search button, so if you just want to search things, you can click on there and uh, type it in, or you can just start typing on, on the home screen, and it'll you can start typing, sorry, on the keyboard, and it'll automatically um, fill in there if you're on the home screen. Now this section here, as you can see, the big section, is where card view will be displayed, which I'll get to in a minute, which is sort of the card view multitasking, basically, will be dis displayed along here. It's worth noting that you can't actually drag and drop widgets, or, well, it's not called widgets because it's not Android, but um, your applications, you can't drag and drop them on the screen, so they're always running. The dock, however, here, is fully customizable. Uh, these four icons, sorry, that, that stays because that is the menu button there. 
Uh, these four icons, as I said, are fully customizable. I've just got the stock ones here uh, because actually they're quite useful, but you can change them, drop them around and get rid of them and have less or, or you can have less, but you can't have more. You can have one in there, you can have four in there and you can have, you know, any combination of apps or whatever you like. Now here is one of the cool features is the gesture bar. So as I move along, you can see it just lights up. So it just it's just really sort of natural gestures. So if you swipe from right to left to go back, so I'll put the calendar up here and it loads right to left to go back and you can swipe up to get to the menu swipe down to go and if you're on there you can swipe down to bring it into view you can also tap to bring it into view there we go, we'll get rid of that just like that, I love how you get rid of apps just sweep it up and it's gone uh, what else on the gesture bar can I show you uh, as I showed you before that gets to the menu and that's pretty much it for the gesture bar just basically a gesture that you it's so natural, you don't even have to learn the gestures, you can just you just go right away, you just, oh, that, I want to go back, back, sweep up, get rid of it. Really, really just very, very simple, really nice uh, gesture pad that, that, that just works really, really quickly, very easy, nothing to learn, it's just, it's like, it's like, it's completely natural is all I can say about that. So I'll just show you this card view, or multitasking basically is what it is, um, as I, I described before. I'll open a few apps here, so you can open your calendar, I'll go back, you can open your email, which I'll show you again in a minute, you can open your contacts, you can open the phone, and let's take something from the menu here, let's do, not from the system, let's go videos, although I haven't got any videos on here. So this is what's called card view, and you can swipe through like this, and you can either swipe to get rid, as I said, or you can bring it into view by tapping on it, going back or tapping on the gesture bar either way you can do it I'll zoom in a bit for you guys so there we go you can see a little bit clearer now I can see clearly now the rain has so as I said here's your card view you can just go through swipe through it holds an unbelievable amount of cards set well cards um, <laughs> an unbelievable amount of apps open and what happens is they're all they all stay running uh, so if you're loading something it'll load and you can go back to it and it'll resume just where you you left off if you're playing a game or or whatever. Now another great feature of this card view, apart from the fact that you can just swipe up to get rid of the thing, so I'll just do that. What I want to show you is email especially, so this will give me a good chance to show the email app here. I'll go to my inbox and you can see I've got some little information here. This is Yahoo Mail by the way um, and I do like that, I do like the email client on this, it's really really good. Uh, let's click on a Facebook, me uh, Facebook message that I got this morning on my uh, Facebook page. Now you can see it looks really really nice, very clear. So very very clear and nice as you can see this gives you a good chance to have a look at scrolling as well. Really nice and easy. Pinch to zoom as well. Another bit of the multitasking. Uh, really really nice, very speedy, uh, very useful. Uh, very useful, very speedy, very responsive and sensitive is what I meant to say. Scrolling. And now let's get back to this card view which is what I really wanted to show you was if I look down here you've got all your buttons very nice, very easy buttons, and if I want to reply, there we go, I can reply, but if I go back to card view, by swiping just along on the gesture bar, you can see, because it's related, they do a little one together. So I'll put up the calendar again. As you can see, the calendar doesn't, but it opens up card view, and I just think that looks really, really nice, very, very simple, nice aesthetics, and also nice, you know, sort of very ease of use as well, because you know that they're linked together. It doesn't open in a separate card, so you're going backwards and forwards. They're sort of linked together, which I think is great. But let's get rid of that, because I don't want to reply to Facebook. Psh, right. <laughs> okay, so let me take you through the menus now. All right, so now we've covered home screen, dock, uh, gesture bar. Uh, what else we covered? We covered card view and multitasking. I'll just show you around the menu screen. Now, with three menu screens, uh, you've got the applications one here. I'll zoom in a little bit for you. You've got your phone, obviously. Guess what it does? It does the phone. So you've got your voicemail, your favourites, your um, contact list, as you can see, I called voicemail. Uh, then you've got all your numbers. I took out the SIM card, obviously, because of the numbers I've been calling, because they don't want uh, you guys calling them up. <laughs> so I go back to the menu. So let's now have a look at the web app. I'll click on here. I've cleared all the cache and everything, so things should be a little bit smoother and easier. Let us load up the Palm website, because of course that's one of our favourite websites in the world. It's loaded up. As you can see, you can get an idea of browser speed and what the, what, what the browser looks like on here. So it loads up relatively quickly, as you can see. Very nice vivid colours as well, as you can see looking through here. 
and you can pinch to zoom of course because it's multitasking get an idea of how the colours look and how everything looks so that's sort of web browsing for you and you can go back and you can also swipe back and you can I don't know how I have an unbelievable amount of Facebooks but anyway <laughs> let's get rid of that there move on to the next you've got your app catalogue basically just just the same as the app store Okay, as you can see as it loaded up now you've got your featured apps so the two apps that are featured across the board then you've got all the featured apps of, of the day of the week then you've got your paid apps down here you've got your free apps and then you've also got your um, uh, new what's new and you've got angry birds there we are I'll download that for you now but you can also search at the top here either by clicking or just by as I said typing with the keyboard. So let's download Angry Birds Seasons uh, for free the light version so while that's downloading we'll not waste the time and have a look at something else email I showed you before calendar you did have a quick look at that very easy very simple this can also sync with your email calendar your calendar on your computer as well so very you know very customizable very syncable <laughs> then you've got your week view and then you can just scroll through like that very very easy really nice and simple calendar to use so let's get rid of that uh, it's installing so we'll have a look at something else your messaging this will be all your text messages and your IM client so if you want to start a message you click on there and it'll pop up and type a message so let us type a brief message sorry the white balance will be set off now I've opened up something new but it will reset in just a minute there we go as you can see, oh, see, now it's come up with a little notice saying installed. And if you get an email, this will flash um, and something will come up so you know that you've got your new email. So if I enter a message, let's not zoom in too close. Uh, how about... It's very hard to do this. Um, now I'm typing it in the... That's a silly thing to do. Here we go. I was typing it in the, uh, the number bar at the top for some strange reason, right? Can't spell... It's very hard to do uh, through the um, camera. You know, I'm looking through the camera screen, trying to do my ha hands round the tripod. So it's very, very hard. Um, but as you can see, it's decent. I'm not doing it as I would normally do with my thumbs. I'm doing it with my fingers. So it's it's more difficult, but uh, you get the idea. It's it's actually got very, very uh, easy to use, and I've been doing quite fast with it. And I've only had this, you know, for a little while. So I've been been picking up speed and now I'm sure in no time at all it will pick up so as you can see the white balance has adjusted itself when I did the very original hello thank you for watching so let's get rid of that Angry Birds is now installed let's tap to launch and get an idea of what uh, gaming's like graphics on this are pretty good even though it is only a 3 uh, 20 by 480 well that's great, uh, a 320 by 480 h uh, VGA resolution, graphics on this are really good. The only time graphics tend to be a little bit, you know, wanting is that when you're streaming videos from like YouTube or something, which I'll show you later. Oh come on, I can't, I've had enough of this music. Right, let's play. I'm, I'm pretty rubbish at Angry Birds, just to let you know, so, um, I know some people I'm are. I'm aficionado, I would say, but um, I'm, I'm not, not very good, so, no hate comments please. Uh, look at that! I suck! Okay, let's have another go. Whoa, I'm not even going to complete the first level, am I? Oh, how exciting. Angry Birds is not my thing, I'm afraid. Assassin's Creed, first person shooters, sports games, I can do. Angry Birds, I can't. Right, <laughs> but enough of that, you guys can get to see. Af uh, af graphics, sorry, are very nice and clear. Level failed, okay. <laughs> so let's get rid of that and we will carry on with our tour of the device. All right. So next up is camera. As I said, it's five megapixel with a LED flash and also takes videos. Let's have a look at some very exciting photos that I took off my trackpad. As you can see, really, really exciting, uh, real artistic. Then I've just got a few photos of my trackpad here. As you can see, scrolling's easy. You can pinch to zoom, you can get rid of it, you can email it, you can add it as your background. So just very simple, really nice standard camera application that you would expect, but a very good one all the same. As you can see, camera there. Uh, you can take the photo, you can turn the flash off, you can switch to the video mode, etc, etc. So then you've got your photos. So you could have a look at my photos, but then you've got all your wallpapers very nicely displayed, as you can see there. Really, really nice and clear. 
There we go. They've sort of adapted card view, as you can see there, to see some of your photos, and it tells you how many you've got in that album. Really nice, clean application, I'd say, that one is. So let's move on again. Music, I've got no music, but this would be where music. Same with videos, which you saw earlier. Then you've got Google Maps, which, guess what, is Google Maps. Uh, just like the one you get on the iPhone, just like the one you get on the computer, just like the one you get on any other device. I do not think not. Um, I do not think not. Oh, God, whatever. Right, but very nice, very clear, very quick, as you can see. This is on Wi-Fi, as you guys probably already know. There you go, I've just got the traffic set up. So you can see the traffic, you can also find where you are and do various other things that you can always do on Google Maps. So Google Maps is just the same as normal Google Maps. You can add memos. There, as you can see, I added a very exciting memo, which means it's a secret code, FGJ, um, for something pretty top secret, I would say. <laughs> as you can see, I added one just for fun there, but you can see exactly what memos is like. And again, we will come up and have a look. You've got contacts, obviously contacts, task, very similar to memos. Clock, I think you guys know what a clock is, and calculator, pretty revolutionary. It looks like a calculator, and guess what, it even works like one as well. So, I showed you Angry Birds, another one game I just loaded up, uh, I sorry, downloaded rather, loaded up, downloaded, then here you've got your PDF view, so I'll just show you, if you've got a sample PDF here, which I will load for you guys, so you can see just exactly what things are like, you can pinch to zoom, all of the above, scroll along, change the page here, you want to change the page, gesture it, you know, Sorry, I went a bit overboard there, looking through the camera. But as you can see, you can gesture it. So gesture it, you can use gestures for it. Quick Office is where you can look at your PowerPoint, your Word, your Excel, any documents you can do sorry, any documents you can put on there, um, any Office, Microsoft Office documents, and you can view them. And then YouTube here, let us search for myself because I'm really that vain, no I'm just kidding, uh, just because it's something that is not copyrighted. So let us type myself in, let us type my, oh god, sorry English is a bit bit bad today isn't it, apologies. So searching for my videos, uh, let us, uh, okay let's do this one because it's quite recent. So zoom in so you guys can get a good idea of video and I might as well just shut up a little bit, turn the volume up for you guys, hear my awful voice. Yeah. Okay, shut up. <laughs> hey guys, how are you? Hope you're doing good to wherever you are. I want to thank you for so you can tap to and it will scrub reason. along. Let's see if it loads up. Um, there we go. Guarantee. Well, I think there's more of that on the back, so we'll have a look at that. How You've very exciting the listening to the guarantee. Cost. Okay, so that was YouTube for you guys. Let's just get rid of that. So next up is the system menu, very, very exciting system menu. Um, of course, it's where we've spent all our time, sounds and ringtones. Okay, yeah, that's pretty exciting. We all spend our time trying to figure out what the best uh, ringtone is. As you can see, I've got this very exciting standard pre one. Let's listen to that because it's pretty awesome. Dreadful, hate it. Right, <laughs> let's get rid of that. Um, so as you can see, just your various settings menus. I turn the volume up on the sounds because I just love this whooshing noise. I just think that's an awesome noise. I could do that all day. Right. Anyway, you've got your accounts, your screen, and your locks. You can adjust the brightness, your software manager, so you can adjust all the software and update some various software. You've got your help, which guess what is help? Just a tutorial, which um, you don't need because I, I did an amazing one for you. Uh, wi Fi settings, Bluetooth, VPN, text assist, location services, date and time, system updates, device info, backup, and uh, regional settings. As you can see, very, very simple things you don't need to see because. Um, they're just pretty standard. So let's get back to the uh, to the home screen rather of the device, and I'll wrap this up for you because it's probably been a bit long for you guys. But I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've just got to see just the standard things that this device does. It does a lot more. There are a lot more apps you can download. But I just wanted to give you sort of an overview and demonstration. Otherwise, if I showed you you know everything, then it would be you'd be here forever uh, looking, uh, you know, watching this video. So I don't want to take up too much of your time, although I've probably taken quite a bit up, um, but just giving you sort of a setup, your overview, your demonstration of this device, and just basically give you a little bit more insight into sort of the daily runnings of this device and the basic functions of it. 
So I hope you enjoyed the video. Once again, thanks to Clove for sending this out for review. You can check them out at www.clove.co.uk. Link is in the description box, as with all other links, such as my Twitter and the link to the unboxing video. Uh, leave me a comment, message or video response. Take care, have a great day. Please subscribe, comment, rate, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.